Mr. Wilcox, how you doing, man? Good. Long time no see. Yeah. Things been, things been going well? Busy, but good, yeah. Excellent. You guys just had a big gig today? Yeah. You all warmed up, chops working and everything? Sort of, yeah. <laughs> More or less. Nice. Let's just get the wind flowing a little bit. Let's play it to it, and then, uh, you know, we can work on a few things. I think you said you had some stuff uh, from the 20-minute warm-up, and then maybe a couple excerpts or a piece you're working on. Yeah, sure. All right, here you go. All right, you're in charge. You've got to leave. <laughs> nice deep breath. fresh and never seen it before because I am too and uh, first thing you check out you said key signature what key are we in uh, B flat B flat maybe or G minor or G minor so how do we decide how do we know the difference no we start well that's a good start yeah, okay no, all right so if we look at the first notes we got we both have a unison G. and at the end we both have a uh, G okay so we both have a unison G there and it looks like it cadences. Uh, what's that? You see the right before the first ending at the very end there? Mm. So I've got a D and you've got a. Where? See the very bottom there on the app? What's this? On the first ending? On the first ending? Mm hmm. About right here? Yeah. Right before there. Let's say it's the end of the piece and we're going to take it into the last part of the piece. You've got a. F sharp. And I've got a. D. Uh huh. So that would be. Uh, major five chord of a. Five chord of G minor, yeah. So we want to. So our ears are going to be primed for G minor. Now we look real quick at the time signature. What do we got? Three four. Cool. Now you're talking to me about form. Walk me through it, cause I don't want to get caught. I don't want to get lost. Uh, so um, we take our pick up bar there. Mm -hmm. One two three. Um, yep. Uh, and we play through the first time, mm -hmm. the first ending. Back up to repeat time. Yep. Play through. Take second ending. Uh, next repeat section. Thing. Got it. So no DCs, no DSs, no just C's. straight down, but a couple repeats, right? Yep. Cool. And then if you want to change uh, dynamically on the repeat or whatever, I'll follow your lead. So keep that in mind. But now take a look real quick so we don't get caught. What's the tempo at the beginning? Andante. Andante. I'm not real good with my Italian. What, was, what does that mean? Uh, walking speed. Yeah, walking speed. So we're going to be like, I need to get to the store. <laughs> Or what are we going to be? Uh, a little bit more relaxed than that. More uh, Sunday stroll, walking the dog kind of. Ah, uh, okay. Out with the dog. I don't have anywhere to be. Nice and gentle. We're just like, dee, dee, do, dee, do, do, do. Stylistically, is this going to be kind of short and separated? Or does it look like it's going to be maybe... Uh, it looks like it's a little broader. Yeah, more broad, more connected. Maybe even legato? Yeah. All right. So, um, think a nice, easy, dee, da, dee, da. Just get a nice full breath as we lean into it. You got it.
Great sound, man. It's really, you know, I can tell you've been doing your long films and lip surges and stuff. It sounds like that's really paying off. And oh. boom, it's just. <laughs> well, what made you start doing that way more often? Because I mean, the sound's just awesome. It's incredible. What 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 happened? Did you lose a bet? It's a lot of stopped caring about. It doesn't always sound good. Stop caring about how it feels. Stop being super focused on how am I, you know, mouth shape right? Mm. Am I sure. Just focused on just getting the app, making music. Less less focused on all the minutia and trying to control all the little muscles and just just letting it go. Yeah. With that in mind, um, take a look at that line up there at the top. Yeah. Uh, for trombone players, you know, all of a sudden we see 16th notes, so what's the first reaction? Oh. Ah! <laughs> exactly, <laughs> panic. But um, particularly at this speed, you know, we just yeah. kind of think of them, if we were going to think like, those quarter notes are so slow and broad, they kind of feel like half notes, right? So if the quarters are like half, the eighths are going to be like, Quarters. and then the 16th are just going to be eighths. easy eighths. So then if you're, so as we, let's try that first phrase one more time. And just do me a favor, just try to sing. Don't think about the top note of the phrase and don't even think about the 16th note. Your only job is get through those notes and you go beyond. Your job is to get to the quarter note after there or even the quarter note after that. See if you can make it to beat three or the downbeat of the next bar each time we do those. Let's start uh, with the pickup bar, nice and gentle. And don't worry about that piano in the second bar for now. Just play broad and focus on that line. Two, and... One more time, and just think. Broad, easy, hot wind like you're doing. Feels like you're starting to think. You're like, you're, yeah. you're geared up for it. Get ready. You know what I mean? Yeah. Take your mouthpiece. Just slide it for a sec. Just uh, gentle, easy, glisson on the mouthpiece. Oh. Oh. Ah. We both, we both struck out there. So our, we're, I'm thinking about the C, unfortunately, but our first note's the what? Uh, G. G, sing one, sing oh. I think about just letting it go to the front, ready? Oh. Oh. Now try it one time. And do those D's out in fourth, but just do a nice, easy glyph. <laughs> Aiming for that D or the B flat beyond it. Try one time, nice and gentle. Two and. <laughs> sound it sounds fabulous now how can we keep that same connection an awesome legato in a little smaller box because once we I mean the go-to reaction is always just bah throw more air at it right so take that same intensity take the same speed take the same focus and try to think about the belly and beyond little laser pointing out just one time take your finger just go think about the corners coming in from the side rather than biting down on it And then when you're playing it, think about a tiny, narrow, focused little tube. <laughs> Try to put more sizzle into the wind. Tiny, cool, energetic. Right there. One yendo, two yendo. <laughs> and cool, light and focused. So let's just think like easy and that's our fourth phrase all the way through that first phrase. Two, yeah, no. I know, 
felt like it was yesterday. Totally, totally. <laughs> Take him out, Peaks, and just slide that right there. Ready, gentle through the F. <laughs> Remember before how when we started, it was like, Brr! Do you feel kind of that same energy still? Yeah. Light, cool, gentle, laser focus. <laughs> Let's do something weird and crazy. Try the B flat in five, the D in four, and do a long pull. And going all the way out to the A in six, then back to the B flat in five. I know it's crazy. Let's try it. One, and a do E and a If you, if you hit it, fine, whatever. But if you don't think through, we lose. One yeah. again, da, two, we uh, go. How'd that feel? Really good. Sounds like a million bucks, man. Nice job. Nice. Pull up, uh... So you had a question about the 20-minute uh, warm-up? Yeah. What's up? Uh, just sort of an accuracy thing on a, a interval attacks. I guess. Ah! Oh. As, as, as That's a great one. I love that. Yeah, it's starting to get farther apart. I mean, you sort of start to lose the clarity you have when totally. you're like doing major thirds. Or oh yeah, yeah. Fours. Totally. Play it down one time. Let's see how it's going. Number ten interval attacks. <laughs> versus I'm in an elevator, oh my gosh. Which does it feel more like, I mean granted, it's human nature, we're all gonna feel like it, but what does it feel more like in this? Uh, more like an elevator. Totally, totally. So one thing that I do um, to try to even this out, and it, it's really, it kinda took me a while to uh, wrap my, my brain around it, is if you can think uh, a couple of things in there that'll help you. First, again, thinking about it being horizontally out on a curved line, more or less. So it's like, da, 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 la, la. next time you get to B flat, it's beyond these notes. It's not up, here, down, back to normal, back, up, down, back to normal. You know what I mean? 
The other thing, your body position has gotten a lot better since, you know, you know, the years we've known each other. But still, you have a tendency to kind of lean forward, and then you get that head down over the spine. <laughs> it's like saying, hi, here's a bunch of sharks. Hey, let me tie bowling balls to my ankle and swim away. It's suicide. It doesn't work. So, just for giggles, let's do a little game here. And I want you to imagine, because obviously things are going to shift as you go from high to low, but don't obsess about it. Pretend in a way, like for this first bar, like you're just doing a B-flat long tone. Oh, and let the slide move, but the brain and the body are here, just thinking like a long tone. Let it natural swearing bliss. Waniana, Dewiana, breathe. the butt, engage the, you know, the, the diaphragm, the belly, the bottom muscles. Second line. Yeah. You know what slalom skiing is? Yeah. What is it? Downhill event where they hit the flags. Yeah, well, ideally they don't hit the flags. <laughs> That's the point. But it's kind of like that. But when we're playing music, too, we always feel the same thing. We're like, I gotta hit this note, I gotta hit this note, I gotta hit this note, I gotta hit this note. The key to this exercise and flexibility in general is what happens between the notes. It sounds crazy and weird, but if you think, like, here's a note, here's a note, here's a note, your job is to go, that's what you're thinking with your wind, even though your brain knows you're going, do, 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 do. The toe up here happens like the commander on the battleship. Down here in the engine room, we're just thinking slide, 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 slide like the swallow. Do the same thing on the next line, but go out to F and 6. Ready, go. <laughs> So, uh, one thing you can do is break it up. So, like, do um, 
Five notes, stop, take a breath. Next five notes, stop, take a breath. Let's do it together. Two, ready, and... Or a part of your solo you want to play for me today? Uh, what is an excerpt? I don't know. Uh oh. The evil, evil excerpts. Dum, dum, dum. I held the wings of the bear still. Yeah. Sure. Or, uh, or even Hungarian March. There's a. You pick. You want to do some Hungarian or, or held in later? You pick. Uh, let's do held in later. Alright. Sure, rhythm. Rhythm. 
the two the number two things that eliminate candidates in an orchestral audition time and pitch it's assumed that you have a good sound you have to have a good sound if that ain't there game over but when you go for a recorded round or even the first round of uh, an audition it's sound time and pitch just like Mike Davis talks about at the brass bucks but from way back in the day yeah um, so my concern here is yeah there's some stuff we need to clean up with your articulations and other stuff your notes your range is fine you got these you got these no big deal a uh, couple little inaccuracies there but the time is not characteristic for the excerpt and also rhythmically it's it's scattering it'll drag a few places it'll push out in a few places some excerpts do that not this one have you listened to uh, any recordings of this uh berlin, berlin. Mm -hmm. cool anybody else uh that's about it oh man you want to get at least a good half dozen or so different recordings of this under your under your belt i love the old rhino recordings of chicago oh they're yeah. incredible san francisco's recording is really great um there's a great website if you go to tromboneexcerpts.org you check that out uh, no, there's another website that I should use too. The remember.to slash practice. Yeah, Stacy's uh, yeah. Web Berlin or her yeah. site. And that's got stuff. But if you go to traumaonexerts.org, you click on Heldenleben, they've got this part right here, and they've got um, five or six different orchestras from that section of the piece. Back, back in my day, we had to go <laughs> buy the records and have them imported. And, and, you know, even five, ten years ago, I would go over to Amoeba and drop a hundred bucks to buy you know, eight, nine CDs, and I'd have to import it into the computer once we finally had a CD ripper and edit out stuff. You can go to TrombonExerts.org and you can go click, 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 and you can hear five different orchestras back to back. So do that tonight, check it out. But the biggest part here is tempo, tempo. We gotta get on the right uh, page here. So with all your excerpts, um, I know for me, I would go play for guys and i go, you know, and a uh, guy that you're familiar with right now, I'd go play for me and be like, so what, where are you setting your metronome? I'd be like, uh, uh, you always want to have a number. So for this excerpt, um, you set it with the trumpet, like, ba, 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 bee, Or I like, that's what uh, uh, Paul Welcomer coached me for a long time, That and that helps a lot, too, to kind of get the freedom of it. But I like to hear that, shum, ba, dum, ba, jiggy, jiggy, dum, ba, dum, ba, jiggy, jiggy, dum, ba, dum. So for this, dum, dum, ba, dum, ba, jiggy, jiggy, dum, ba, dum, ba, jiggy, jiggy, dum. Anywhere between 123 and 128 is uh, probably ballpark. I think you're a fair bit under that. So let's just uh, let's forget the first call there and let's just clean up a little bit. And um, we have to be absolutely impeccable with these 16ths. So can you play me without the second 16th? Can you just go? Bum, 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 bum. The, the ascending line right there coming off the slur. One, two, three, ready, and. I'm sorry, are we doing just. Uh, nice and broad, nice and even. Wah, da, there's stacking breaks. One, two, three, nice breath. And then don't forget the F right up. Yee, gong. Uh, one more time, can you flow all the way into the second note? <laughs> Snap the arm a little faster and broaden out that first note. Ready? And to go. <laughs> Good. Try it as a stiff lift. <laughs> So you don't get that double buzz. Good. Keep the thumb on the slide there so you maintain control of it and give me a to, to, to. same firmness, same strength, same blowing into it. It feels like a glitz. Yes. Do you feel it? You feel what I'm talking about? Now, we're going to do the glitz in between. So it's almost, it literally feels like a glitch when you tongue it. Um, 
And also lean on the downbeat. Remember, shum ba dum, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum, ba dum. One, two, this one, then dum, ready, and just uh, first three. And then 
you got to do the same thing at that other part. It literally feels like a glitch. And then on the descent, do the D in four, the F in six. It sounds insane, but it will change your life. Just, uh, just for safety, pencil it in real quick. Speed listening. I even sometimes will do that first F there in six, but I'm not gonna make you do it. But I do want you to try this D in four. No, no, no. Um, this is still in third because it's an A flat. This F right here in six. Oh. So let's just glitz right there, starting on the high F as quarter notes. Slur! Yeah, yeah, that was 
Well, I better, man. Nice job.